We've all thought about rewinding time, whether to fix that cringeworthy mistake or a sneak peek at next week's sports scores. But let's be real, those thoughts fade. For most of us, time travel is just a fun movie idea. But for astrophysicists, time travel isn't just sci-fi. It's a serious puzzle hidden in the fabric of space-time. And now, new models suggest the universe might just allow time to bend in ways that didn't seem possible. Humans were intrigued with manipulating time long before complex scientific models. In an ancient Hindu story, a king visits the heavens for minutes and returns centuries later. In a Japanese legend, a fisherman spends days in an underwater palace and comes back to find generations have passed. These are some of the myths that hint that time doesn't flow the same everywhere. And time traveling as a concept didn't just pop up from regret or curiosity, it also came from watching space. Time feels like one constant in our lives. It's always moving forward like a river. It flows forward and it's predictable. But when we zoom out, way, way outside of our planet, it's a different story. To physicists, time bends stretches and slows down depending on how fast you move or how strong the pull of gravity is. And that's not just a theory, it's measurable, proven and built into the technology we use every day. For example, astronauts on the ISS orbit Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, and their clocks tick just a tiny bit more slowly than ours. It's only milliseconds, but technically, they've aged less. You can see this effect in your everyday GPS as well. Satellites up there feel less gravity, so their clocks tick a bit faster. Imagine playing a racing game where your car and your controller are a bit out of sync. That's why GPS needs constant tweaks, or else your phone would think you are miles away. Gravity also messes with time. Scientists proved it using two atomic clocks. Atomic clocks are like the ultimate devices that measure time. They don't tick with gears or crystals, they tick with atoms, the universe's own metronomes. One clock was on a skyscraper roof, the other closer to the ground. The lower one, feeling stronger gravity, ticked just a tad more slowly. The difference was tiny, but it proved that even height can tweak time. Now picture being near a black hole, where minutes could equal years elsewhere. This might help you get those mind-bending scenes from Interstellar. So yes, time bends, and scientists know this. And the challenge now is learning how to do it on purpose. Einstein's work proved that time could move differently for different observers. The faster you move, the more slowly time passes for you. This phenomenon is called time dilation. Think of Marvel's comic, Flash. He runs incredibly fast, but he doesn't really slow the world down. His own clock runs more slowly, so to him, everything else looks frozen. If you could reach the speed of light, your time would almost stop entirely, while the rest of the universe would keep racing ahead. For decades, physicists believed that was the only path to real time travel. But The Flash is a superhero, and Einstein proved that nothing with mass could reach that speed. The faster you go, the heavier you become, and the more energy it takes to keep accelerating. To actually reach light speed, you'd need infinite energy, because your mass would become infinite too. Since infinite energy doesn't exist in the universe, it's physically impossible. That's why physicists started asking questions like, if time can stretch and bend, could it also fold? In 1994, physicist Miguel Alcubierre posed a question. Could Einstein's math let us travel faster than light, not by breaking the rules, but by bending space itself? His answer was, maybe. He imagined a warp bubble, a region of space surrounding the ship that moves with it, carrying it along like a cosmic conveyor belt. In this bubble, the spaceship itself doesn't move. The space in front shrinks, the space behind stretches, and the ship rides the wave forward like a surfer gliding on a moving sea. Inside the bubble, the ship feels no motion. It's sitting still, but the bubble carries it across huge distances. 
And because the ship isn't moving through space faster than light, it doesn't break Einstein's rules. The universe itself does the moving. That hypothetical bubble would need a special kind of energy to bend space-time this way. Originally, Alcubierre's equations required negative energy or exotic matter, a substance that's never been found in usable amounts. Early estimates said we'd need more energy than Jupiter could provide. For years, scientists have wondered if the universe could allow something like a cosmic shortcut without breaking the known rules of physics. While nothing practical has been found yet, theorists have explored models that closed time-like curves, loops in space-time that bend back on themselves. Here's how it works. Imagine space-time as a giant sheet. Normally, moving across it takes time, like walking across a field. But a closed time-like curve is like drawing a circle on that sheet. If you walk along it, you could eventually end up back where you started. In space-time terms, the start and end could be different moments in time. So instead of just moving through space, you're following a path that loops through time, a theoretical shortcut to the past. This isn't pressing a button to hang out with your younger self, it's more like a time detour, a loop in the universe that could let something trace its way back to the past, all without breaking the speed of light. Einstein's math already lets space-time do gymnastics near spinning black holes, twisting like a cosmic corkscrew. Physicists can explore these loops on paper, but creating one in a lab is far beyond our reach. If one day we could turn this math into a real spaceship, a warp bubble wouldn't actually make the ship go faster than light. Well, technically, there would be no speed. Inside the bubble, the ship wouldn't move at all. Instead, it would fold space like a piece of paper, bringing two faraway points together. The ship could get there in minutes while still obeying the cosmic rules. This is how it worked in the famous Star Trek series, and what many movies adopted as a method for space travel. In a hypothetical situation, a warp bubble wouldn't just be for spaceships. You could send a probe, a package, or even a cup of coffee across the galaxy without it actually moving through space. It's pretty cool, because since the bubbles move space around it, everything inside stays totally still relative to the bubble which means no spills and no weird forces acting on the coffee. However, we are still far away from that point. The challenges we face are pretty massive. We still don't have enough energy, and folding space-time at will is still out of our reach. But for the first time, the math suggests that it's not impossible. What used to seem like pure sci-fi is now popping up in real science journals. These concepts aren't just about whipping up time machines or warp drives. Even if we never pull off a warp drive, figuring out how space-time works is a big deal for understanding reality. For now, it's all theory and simulations, but every experiment pushes the impossible line a little further. Yesterday it was no, today it's maybe. And in science, maybe is where the most exciting things happen. So while we're not ready to build time machines or bubbles across galaxies yet, scientists can now study and test these ideas using real physics, which will lead to new exciting discoveries. That is, unless future Earthlings figure out how to do it maybe 1,000 years from now, so they travel back in time to show us how we can do it ourselves, which will create a grandfather paradox. Unless someone sends the idea back in time and creates a closed time loop. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.